Hey, it's Tony Anzer, your Northwest Indiana and Chicagoland real estate agent. Hey, we're here at the Harvest Time Pumpkin Patch in Lowell, Indiana. Just doing a video to show what this place is like. There's a lot that's included. It's pretty cool. Uh, pricing is like $25 a person. I think it's cheaper if you book online. Most everything's included. If you have to pay for food and pumpkins and anything else you buy. Other than that, you got rides, you got a corn maze and all kinds of cool stuff. So check out this video and it'll show you what it's all about. So you don't need to buy tickets in advance. If not, you can just come here and pay. Yeah. But if you buy online, again, it's a little, little bit cheaper. There is a senior discount too. Uh, these come up and then they ask you your name and ID and then you give you a wristband. There's a lot of cool photo places here too. So you got all kinds of like big chairs to take photos on. Got things like this little pumpkin wagon. So there's thing peppered little stands there. So those things are peppered all throughout the place. So you got this tree here with the bench. People have been taking photos at all day. You got little cutouts there. Over there is a big pumpkin face cutout. And these I didn't get to yet, but this is pretty cool. So you see those kids there. Those are like big, a bunch of plastic pins that you can then make shapes through, which is pretty neat. So that kid's making it all flat, and then you can push in the other side and make shapes. You can do like body imprints too, I've seen people do. Oh, there he goes, look. <laughs> that was perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, you can push it, oh, that is gonna push it out. Yeah, that's pretty fun. We got a couple of those here too. All right, I'll play this clip here about maybe a minute into the video. Hey, 10 seconds about me. My name is Tony Anzer, your Northwest Indiana and Chicagoland real estate agent. We do these videos just to help our viewers learn about the area. If you're looking to move in nine or 90 days, I'd love to work with you. Contact information is on the screen and link below our additional resources and my contact info. Please reach out. We'd love to hear from you. So now we're doing the hot dog uh, corn maze. This would be neat. There's the rules. So there's a QR code in case you get lost for a map. And we are starting to go, what, which, which way? This way? Yeah, the family way. This the family way? That guy just came out of here, though. So you have the map. All right, Lisa's got the map here. No, it looks like Reba McIntyre. That's kind of wild. All right. All right, let's do it. So I think we're going this way. All right, we're going to give it a try. If you don't see us again, we're at Harvest Time Company Patch in Old <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> Alright, we're about five minutes in, still making progress. Alright, so Wyatt got us out of there. He led us and we survived the maze. You guys yeah. all in, still in good shape? Yeah. Alright, we did it. This dinosaur exhibit is new as of this year, at least as far as I know. That's pretty neat. These figures actually move. Oh, there goes the big guy. Oh, that's pretty wild. Oh, there he goes. His tail's moving. Let me get on the side, you can see a little better. All right, Wyatt got his Kona ice, and Ella's getting her usual favorite here of, what are you getting, Elle? Uh, apple cider slushy. Apple cider slushy. Oh, you went for the slushy, okay. Lisa, oh, so you guys got the hots? Yeah, we got the hots. The hots, yeah, Lisa's got the hots. But uh, the slushy, and then the apple cider hots. So what else do they have here? They've got Bavarian nuts, slushies, cotton candy, donuts. How was it, Elle? Is it good? Good. Yeah, cool. He's trying his uh, the, the apple cider slushy. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's a huge straw. You take a drink and like your whole mouth fills up. That's tasty. <laughs> Ice cream headache instantly. <laughs> All right, we're at the Kona Ice Stand. This is Wyatt's favorite treat pretty much anywhere we go. So you got a, they give you a size cup that you buy by a certain size. And then they got the flavors here that you pick from. Ooh, why it's going for watermelon wave. Are you gonna mix it today, why, or just do one? Mix. He's gonna mix. They usually always mix. Blue raspberry. 
Oh, look at that. It's like the red, white, and blue, except for the, uh, no white anymore. Yeah. Oh, that green thing's new from last year. You can, like, make your imprint. Let's go check out the butterfly exhibit. It's okay, it's okay. Wow. Oh, Ellie got three of them. That's cool. <laughs> that, <wow. laughs> All right, so Ella, so what is what is the process I do to uh, to catch one? So basically, you have to like put your you gotta put your finger. Okay, go ahead. Go do it. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. You put your finger around it. Okay. There we go. So Wyatt's got one. Wyatt gave me one too. I wasn't mastering how to pick it up. Ah, it's pretty wild. Ollie, and then he's gonna make a video out of it. I've learned to not worry so much about the outcome. Just uh, do it. Done's better than what? You got it. Wait, Callie, what are we seeing now? What is this we're looking for? Bluey and Mingo. Bluey and Mingo? I'm not sure who Bluey and Mingo are. Must be a new kid thing. We'll find out.
Wyatt and Grandma are having a duck race. Here they go. Come on, Anna. <laughs> The jumping pillow was always a favorite of my kids. They're a little aged out, but now the next uh, generation of nieces is enjoying it. So why, what do you enjoy about harvest time? Uh, I like the rides. Rides. Do you ever get snacks here? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of snack here? Popcorn. Popcorn? Good choice. All right. Here's the hayride area. So at the hayride, you hop on a wagon and you go out into the field where they grow the pumpkins. They also have pumpkins right out here that you could buy instead if you prefer. Walk through and take a look at the various pumpkins. They have them grouped by size. I think pricing is uh, oh, that's five pounds. So you can kind of see what kind of size you want. Select one accordingly. I always get a kick out of these things. They're like gourds or something. And they got all kinds of crazy uh, colors and designs to them. It's fun how they decorate the trees with these lay things too. Pretty neat, big trees for decoration. 